So in this case, we have um, a cable that is wrapped several times around a uniform solid cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.12 meters and a mass of 50 kilos. And this can rotate freely about this axis. And the cable is pulled in by a force with magnitude 9.0 newtons and it says the following. Assuming that the cable unwinds without stretching or slipping, we have to find the magnitude of the acceleration. So, the 9 newtons is the force that is, that is being pulled. Then, there's another force that is going in this direction that will balance it. Will balance the weight that is going down, the force of the gravity, and the force is being pulled. One thing we should also notice is that the radius, 0 0.0, um, 0 0.060 meters, is going to be the same for the moment arm length because it's perpendicular now to find the angular acceleration first we need the torque and inertia so for the torque we just use the equation f times l because we have these values and that's going to be 9 newtons times 0 0.060 meters which would be 0 0.54 newtons per meter in regards to the inertia we use the equation one half mass times radius square because we also have those values in the problem it's going to be one half times 50 times 0 0.060 meters square and that should give us 0 0.090 kilograms per meter square now that we have both the torque and the moment of inertia we can now find the angular acceleration so we will just divide the torque by the moment of inertia or 0 0.54 newtons per meters divided by 0 0.090 kilograms per meter square. So the angular acceleration would be this right here, six radians per second square. Now, what do we find the, why did we find the angular acceleration? Because we need to find the acceleration and the magnitude. So that would just be the radius and the angular acceleration or 0 0.060 times 6 radians square radians per um, second square and that should give us 0 0.36 meters per second square as a final answer